What is the cognitive linguistics? What's inside of the categorization process? What's inside of the conceptualization process? What's a frame? What's a picture of our mind? Or in other words, how we call it, because I learned it in a Russian language and I want to translate it to you in English, because I am a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and I learn right now this subject of cognitive linguistics in my university, in my university on philology master's degree and uh, let's uh, do this together we have some questions and we will talk about it during these questions i will try to translate maybe you will try to understand these words as a concept not only like translation but as a concept and uh, we will do this uh, together and first of all need to start what's the cognitive linguistics is a branch of science that are connected to linguistics it is knowledge of our my uh, knowledge of our language. Yes, for example, you know that uh, letter A, letter B, and also I can say letter I, and I can mean my name, and uh, I mean that I I mean I. Yes, when I say I, I mean me. Yes, and uh, something like this, and. Uh, it is connection of uh, linguistics and psychology in a meaning of recalling some images, some pictures, some schemas, some scripts and things inside of our minds. Yes, for example, I say to you furniture and you already maybe imagined a table. And when I said a table, then you already imagined a table in the meaning maybe of society that uh, are con that considered uh, in our lives uh, that uh, it is a table, for example. It is a table here is with uh, some some I don't know f four points of uh, like w what's the name of it? It is the pole pipe pipe I think that pipe pipe four pipes and one surface of ah cylinders four cylinders and one one cube yes in uh, on it or maybe parallelepiped we can call it it is the table you imagined it and uh, it is the process of uh, of thinking during the language usage verbal usage of language for example we say words and we imagine when i say to you furniture you are not thinking about a stray maybe so much when i say furniture you think about a table or maybe a chair and uh, it is kind of the process of our nominative nominative field of the concept it means that when i say furniture you think mostly about it and lessly about it when i say table you may be not thinking about the something outside of our world maybe about elves or maybe if you think about elves that you think about the <laughs> elves that are standing near the stables yes for example it is about creativity by the way this cognitive linguistics knowledge and let's dive into first questions for question for ex our exam. It is Conceptus Sfera e Conceptualna Cartina Mira. What the hell is it? Conceptualna Cartina Mira is the conceptual picture of the world, how we see it. For example, image of the world. It is the concepts around our life. We all know when we, for example, watch a sign of the not smoking that we have a concept inside of it, like no need to smoke here. Or maybe when we go on the street and we see a sign of like, let's cross the street, we know that need to cross the street. It is concepts that are around every subject that we have, that we can create too. And for example, in science, we have a lot of concepts. Concept is something like determination of things. For example, you determine this word, you determine that word, you determine this process of doings, this sequence of sequence of doings, of deals, of steps, of stages that you do. For example, I moved uh, my hand this way and it's a concept maybe we can categorize uh, we can say it, that it is a concept. And uh, it is our a picture of the world of this concept and uh, it has a lot of concepts around but need to start what's the concept concept uh, yes i always said what's uh, the picture of the world concept of sphere concept of sphe sphere is the all knowledge about all concepts in our world okay that are inside of our mind and everybody has their own 
has their own concept sphere. You have your own because you think about uh, things uh, of your semantics, semantics meanings. And I have my own. I understand this world my own way. Maybe for your life, if you are from America, US and them means for you much, much, much more than for me. For me, Russian and them means much, much, much more. But maybe because I was listening to and this and them, this uh, and them can mean to me even more sometimes. Maybe I listened more than some somebody. But in total, in average, it is the science of averageness. In total, in average, we can say that, yes, Russian people, they like more Russian and them than American and them, for example. Or let's take not American, Mexican, yes, but we respect it, but we like our own more because we are finding in our life much more than this one, okay? Next, языковые категории, категоризация языковых единиц. How to translate it? It's a language categories, categories and categorization of language particles, uh, categorization of language uh, things inside of it. Единиц here, it is not like a one, it is uh, like this thing, this thing, this, uh, this thing, like small particle, like an atom. And uh, языковые категории, what the hell is it? It is uh, the... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> What 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 is the языковые категории? It is the language category. For example, we have binary things in our life. You are human or not? If yes, then it is categorization of humanity, uh, hu human likeness. Yes, and uh, if we have yes or no here, or maybe we have yes, maybe it is a human, maybe it is not a human, may uh, and uh, it is not a human. It is like different types of categorization, a uh, categorization of this uh, thing, and uh, we can say a boy. Who is he? It is who. It is a human, yes. Adult or not? Non-adult. And also we can say that uh, gender of it male. And about girl, we can say that it is a human. Also we can say that it is uh, a non-adult. It is not an adult. And also we can say about uh, her that female it is her gender. And about like uh, man, we can say man like <laughs> 20 years old man. We can say that it is a human an adult and also it is a gender if we speak about uh, male then it is male about woman we say that she is a gender yes it is all categorization and about anything in our life we can create uh, a categorization for example this flag we can categorize even flags for example lines verti vertical lines in fla on our flag or horizontal and it is all about like super mega a lot of uh, things to categorize and i think that uh, the starting point of this is mathematics because uh, it is it goes everything from mathematics it is all the desire to make it more objective not subjective because language is super subjective and as you already maybe see Next, uh, and maybe you think, no, 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 it's not subjective, I mean what I mean. Then, Jesus Christ, you're the picture of the world maybe less than mine. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it is not something bad. It means that uh, you can expand it uh, through, through thinking about it, through talking. Maybe your knowledge of uh, other things uh, is, uh, is bigger than mine. Yes, maybe your, your picture of the world in the meaning of like... Uh, uh, robot techniques is better than mine, yes? And I have a bigger, maybe, picture because of my life. And that's why we talk, that's why we communicate to each other in this world, because we want, we want to expand our picture of the world, IMH. But it's okay, we are, we are equal, guys. But in the meaning of language, no, not so fully, okay? Ag we can agree with it. But if we are all like God is everything and everything is God, then then we are all the same. We are all the particles of God and it's good, yes. Amazing. Okay, next. The сущность концептуализации и категоризации как основных познавательных процессов сходства и отличия. Look at this. We have the process of conceptualization and we have a process of categorization. What's the, what's the meanings of them? Conceptualization is the 
defining things by the images inside of our mind, by the processes, by the schemas, by the sequence of actions. And categorization, it is like conceptualization, but it is making the types of this. For example, types of people, or maybe a typology of our life, I mean the typology, typology of drawing, styles of drawing. For example, you can draw in the meaning of cubism, avant-gardism, also you can draw symbolism, realism, surrealism and other things, and it is all about categorization of drawing, but in total it is all drawing. And uh, conceptualization it is determining, determining things. In, in programming way, it is kind of when we create a, a variable and then we say that inside of this variable we will have some meanings. For example, it we have a variable a and variable a equals for three points of Gryffindor. And okay, concept of sphere is the картина мира. What's the difference between this and this. Difference is because this is concept and языковая картина мира, it is uh, that represented in our language, that people in different languages think a little bit, not maybe fully, but a little bit different, because with different sounds we mean different words and with different words we mean different semantics inside of our mind and different uh, kind of pictures and we live in different countries and we have different associations. For example, we don't have a Taco Bell in our country in Russia. We have, for example, Tiremok. Tiremok is the, <laughs> it's the fast food thing and we, when we say it, then we mean something like this. When we say Taco Bell, we can maybe imagine tacos or maybe we can imagine Bell. Bell, it is like from uh, how to say it, Romeo and Ju Ju no, 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 Notre Dame de Paris, yes, <laughs> we can imagine, Bell, Taco Bell, it is Taco, uh, Tacos and uh, Bell from uh, <laughs> Notre Dame de Paris, when we say it in a Russian language, okay, next, национальная специфика концептов, it is about uh, that in every country we have different meanings of concepts. You have your own for and them, you have your own for uh, herbalic things, you have your own for a president, you have uh, different concepts because of... Uh, we have different territories in Russia, we have subjekte Российской Федерации, we have also федеративный уровень of our of our land, of our, yes, of Russia. And what does it mean? Subject Российской Федерации is the place when uh, people live. For example, it is uh, Republic, yes, uh, inside of our uh, Республика Саха, for example. It is a Republic of Saha. And uh, we have Krai, for example. Krai, Krai is the district, kind of huge district in the meaning of map. And uh, it is uh, specifics of national concepts and maybe you don't have it inside of your language. And the same with, uh, for example, you have donuts, we have uh, plushka. It is two different uh, national uh, meanings of them and you mean different things. Next, языковые средства, входящие в номинативное поле концепта, построение номинативного поля концепта. It is the... I know about it, I... Привет! I know about it. Uh, it is uh, the nominative uh, field of concepts. I know about it through through entropy that I learned in programming languages. When we speak about entropy, then uh, Jesus Christ, I, I feel a little bit of distra distracted. And uh, when we f f speak about nominative field of concept, then we we do entropy of things. For example, on the first, uh, when we describe the furniture, then on the first place, maybe people imagine the tables, then on the second chairs, on third, uh, something else, maybe sofa, and on the position number 45, you will imagine ashtray. And uh, it is all about our nominative field of concepts and uh, nominative field of concepts, how we imagine it, 
it is all about statistics. You need to ask people what do they think about it and then you will learn. Okay, methods of describing of uh, of what's what's the mean uh, method uh, methods of describing meanings and concepts the the different the differences and the sameness and uh, i don't know i i feel right now a little bit of chat because uh, i have siblings inside of my house and uh, when someone is like it uh, it is different uh, feelings to speak i don't know why and uh, okay let's let's talk about it uh, methods of uh, aha con concept i don't know how to describe it right now because i feel a little bit of shy <laughs> i think that i need to start it uh, back again <laughs> in the next time w so thank you a lot for listening to this i i feel a little bit of shy when someone is logging into the house. We can speak about categorization, differentiation, classifica classification. Okay, I will translate to you what we have, and uh, then uh, you will maybe imagine your own things. It is methods of describing meanings and concepts, the sameness and the difference. Next, it will be the contains of of uh, terms, frame, script in a mini of script, not <laughs> it is different scripts and uh, script one more it is more script <laughs> in cognitive linguistics it is script in Russian language it is script uh, written in in a mini of programming and uh, next categorization differentiationable and classificationable f tools or maybe how to say it it is the I don't know how to describe it, guys. I I f feel that I need uh, to be uh, alone. I don't like when I, I like to to speak when I alone, <laughs> because I feel kind of I will say non correct thing and people will hear me. Okay, categorization, differentiationable and uh, classificationable meanings. I think so, and uh, it is. Uh, tools to describe or maybe it is the descriptions descriptionable categories types i don't know how to let's types i think so no no it's not types let's translate it science science okay next it is the creating of concepts Yes, and we look at something and we already have a picture inside of us. Next, uh, the ways of objectivization of concept. It means that making it something like an object. Nominative field of a concept. The meaning of the field of the picture of the world and uh, me different types. Gestalts, uh, schemes and scripts and uh, their contains. And uh, the le the question of typology of concepts and uh, the main terms and and uh, <laughs> we have the same words. It is they are the same. Yes, uh, just It is the main terms and the main uh, terms in uh, cognitive uh, linguistics Cogni cognitions that uh, are. Через пять минут смогу. Сейчас тогда, минутку. One moment, guys.
Хорошего дня. Спасибо. Спасибо. I don't know, guys, and uh, it is kind of I really don't know because it is the meaning of inside of me that uh, you are here, yes? And uh, I understand that people who are on the video, they matter a lot. And I don't want to make the video like to be interrupted or something. But in the same time, we are communicating right now with my mom and uh, I don't know because uh, it is better to like in the, in my own meanings like selfish meanings but I don't th think that it is selfish or something or because I think that all people are equal in our world and I should uh, treat them as uh, as equal. All people are equal that I speak to. And uh, as with my mom, as with the world. But maybe need to think about that we should care about our siblings more than about world. But why shouldn't we care about the world the same as for family? Like, all world is a family. But in the same time, I right now felt that it is... I don't know, my, my mom came to came to Podolsk to one one day and my mom came to the Podolsk to Podolsk to one day and I wasn't communicating to her a lot right now I could go kind of and speak with her but right now I didn't do so so much even then five minutes because I was recording this video <laughs> I was preparing for my exam and I don't know what to say, because in the same time I do different right now things, and I understand that I wasn't communicating, my mom wasn't like super upset about it, she understands that I prepare for my exam maybe and to record the video, but the meaning of that we were not, communica not, communi we were not communicating for a while, for a long time. It means kind of that maybe need to invest more time in it, but I didn't invest it a lot, and it is kind of my own feelings and meanings of this process. <laughs> okay, everything will be fine, maybe we will connect today, and uh, because then she will not be again in Podolsk. No, she, she will not, she, she, she will, she will. But in the meaning of uh, 
again so fast back again she will not back and uh, we will we will not communicate for maybe a we week a week or two weeks <laughs> okay everything will be fine need to she said that maybe on the phone we will talk or something yes i love my mom <laughs> but sometimes i don't know how to how to treat these all things because because it is all about like i think about the world as a world i should give to the world the same as for my mom and who is first like it's all priority prioritization yes it is kind of the same who will you save life yes you can save life of your mother or you can save the life of somebody else's mother yes it is the same question like what's the first priority in the meaning of the world everything is good to do save here and save here it is better even two things to save yes and uh, i think that uh, okay everything will be, everything is fine we we are not arguing right now we were talking but i feel inside of me that i should talk maybe more with my mom <laughs> so we finished uh, on it let's translate it to the final point cognitions that are inside of the human emotions <laughs> okay everything will be fine the consciousness and thoughtfulness thoughtfulness doings <laughs> that are showing in our language that here we can say about what we imagine sometimes the meaning of the concept different uh, meanings of the concept the the object that we see in the cognitive linguistics and the target of the cognitive linguistics target it is make it more structurized and uh, the field our words and the meaning of connection to our minds the problems and the tasks of uh, modern cognitive linguistics determine everything in our language in the meaning of uh, objective objective things next uh, the language as an object of uh, learning of cognitive linguistics the main directions of uh, the modern cognitive linguistics cognitive science and cognitive linguistics and uh, the main concepts in russian lingua culture lingua culture it means that we have specific meanings for example we have some stronger words in our life stronger words for maybe we have m much more stronger for a word russia than in your country in your country you will have more a stronger word for your name of the country than for us you understand and this is the russian lingua culture it is uh, the cons it is the comparing with two countries okay i need uh, maybe to write to my mom and uh, then to agree to maybe meet today or something so <laughs> thank you a lot for watching this video <laughs> improve style daily go for uh, dreams and everything will be fine and communicate with people with real people yes maybe real people are much more important than electronic ones i don't i don't want to name you electronic ones yes because uh, in the meaning of uh, communication through the screen yes you understand that we kind of listen to ourselves through this but it is the same as uh, on the phone then okay i don't know how to say it but everything will be fine love people love your family love everybody love your mom Lo love do things and uh, <laughs> improve all day guys see you next time bye bye